Hello, this is a 2011 Infinity M56. And today's project is replacing my gasket, my radiator air relief gasket. I've gotten all the tools I believe I need. 10 millimeter prying tool, flathead screwdriver. Prying tool, uh, I only have five or so clips over here. It's not going to be too hard to do this. You could use a flathead, by the way, works just as well. As with other videos, if you try pulling this thing up, well, now it works. Is that something? Okay, yeah, there you go. If you try pulling it from the front, it's not going to go. Or rather, it will give you some resistance. Pull it from the back, lifts off easily. And apparently, I do have another one back there. Pull it from the back, it comes off much easier. Take this off. Then right here, this is the area you're working on. So, I'll get my flathead. But I believe that's like an 8mm hex as well, in case you want to use a socket. Pull this. Well, that should be connected still. Make it firm. <laughs> I've lost one clip down there. There you go. I might give you a little bit of a fight, it shouldn't, but my clip came loose. Can you see that? Let's get a little closer. Okay, so I lost one fast enough in there. I'm not going to deal with it. Push this accordion back. Pull this up. Too, whatever, keep losing them right here so I don't put anything here. There we go, push this out of the way. Okay, that's one 10 millimeter. Then right here, can you see this hole right here? Let's get a little closer. That's the hole right here. This is where I'm going for. The plug I'm looking for is right here. There's a hole right here. So if you you know, put your hand at the intake right here. There's a hole giving you access to a plug. And this is where the thing is located, right here. So this is it. And if you look there, you'll see that that looks like your typical radiator plug. Um, I mean, I've already leaked coolant already, so I'm not too worried about it, but hang on just a second. Oh yeah, you do need a Phillips head screwdriver as well. The bigger, the better. Alright, get in there. You, you can't miss it once you get in there. Turn it. Counterclockwise. Keep going. Uh, I mentioned in either my other video or something, but the first time I did this, I realized that I could turn it, tighten it a little, you know, a little more. And uh, did I lose the gasket? Yep. I guess I tightened it hard enough that it's still stuck in there. So I'm gonna get my paper towels. There is a gasket somewhere in there.
goodness. I already know what it is, so I was trying not to put my head in the picture. I've got one of those, what do they call, faces made for radio? <laughs> I'd rather you don't see me, let's see the action. This right here is the original gasket that comes with the car. You know, I mean, after a while it takes shape and basically can't be formed again. Uh, apparently some people have been told that they need whole new radiators by the dealer. That's really cruel, you know, that. that's just unfair, you can't do that. This right here is what I bought. The part number that I ordered under, 21481, 18,000. I ordered it through uh, a Nissan dealership because I live in Illinois and um, my part of Illinois, it's easier to get to a Nissan dealership. An Infinity dealership is like a whole day trip to, to St. Louis. But these two cost me less than $5, both of them. They were probably two thirty six dollars each. And the thing is, I could have gotten them cheaper online, but then when you start adding shipping, it becomes just, you know, it doesn't make sense. So here, this is what I bought, right? And the hexagonal inside, that's a part number, remember? That's a new part number, at least. I'd say that's why it's been crossed out. Unless, for whatever reason, it was just a different part. I haven't really looked into it. So, I bought two, just in case. That kind of guy. <laughs> for $2.30, why not? You know? So, I'm gonna... They obviously look different. Definitely different, right? But, I'm gonna put this over the plug. And if you've ever drained coolant or anything, this plug should look familiar. So, push it through. I guess it has to be threaded at some point. Nope, just push it. It's weird. Why is a hexagonal? Why is a hexagon inside rather than outside so I can grab on it? <laughs> okay. And at this point, you pretty much through. I'm going to set this back in here. Uh, well, what we're going to do is paper towel again and just wipe the area around it. So far I'm doing it blind. I mean, I've seen it. But you'll notice I'm not leaking any more coolant. The first time I'm, uh, the first video I made, I dripped a little bit of coolant, but it stopped shortly after, which means I had been leaking for quite a, quite a while. You know, although I only saw it, you know, on the floor. Unless this plug is really high, that it doesn't really matter. Again, so Phillips head. Uh, there's probably a torque setting, but I'm one of those people that goes by feel. Feels tight. It's not going anywhere else. I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going, going to try to mess with it. No. Like, loosen, tighten it again, I mean, it's there, it's there. And you start by hand, just so that you don't cross-thread anything. Um, so that's it, man, That that is the job. How long has it taken us? 11 minutes in real time. Um, I'm tempted to leave this as is, so I can rinse this down, but uh, I think I'll actually save the work and come back later with a hose when I get the time to and actually rinse it down there, so... That's just, uh, that is, that is it though. That is the end of the job. So, let's start putting things back together. See how long it's going to take us. Um, and I should say, so at this point, what I'm, what I'm planning to do, uh, to bring the job to completion, right? Uh, I need to buy some blue coolant from Nissan. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could just use the green press tone that I've been using, typically, but it's an M56. Don't cheap out on this. So I'm going to buy the blue coolant from in, from Nissan or Infinity and uh, come in here and dilute it 50-50 then keep going